Recording in high resolution is nowadays no longer an exception. Besides Full HD, there is also the 2K, 4K, as well as Ultra HD resolution. However, the results still require storage in lower resolution, most often SD. In such cases, we most frequently opt for a high resolution recording and subsequently convert the edit to a lower resolution. The classic and probably the most common case is filming in full HD with a subsequent conversion to SD. A procedure of this kind is also called down convert. As a solution, some cameras offer so-called hybrid recording, where they record HD material to one type of media, while the SD version is stored in another recording medium. However, hybrid recording is relatively rare when filming. Therefore, let's go over an example of how to proceed when a recording is later to be generated at a lower resolution. The simplest way in EDIUS is to set the export format to 720 by 576 resolution points and leave the rest of the application unchanged. However, this solution does not necessarily produce a dazzling quality format. The most common reason for dissatisfaction is a picture that seems blurred. Export in HD resolution from EDIUS to Canopus HQ format or HQX offers a solution. However, it is necessary to make a down conversion in another application. We recommend using one that enables using more advanced resampling methods when coding into the selected format. Lancos 2 and Lancos 3 are such methods. The disadvantage of such a procedure is that the conversion time doubles approximately and more disk space is needed since HD resolution files coded by Canopus HQ or HQX tend to be quite large. We therefore recommend using EDUS Pro 7, which enables the noted more advanced resampling methods for picture size changes. The procedure is as follows. Before exporting the timeline, change the project settings in the settings project settings menu. Press the change current settings button and select Lancos 3 from the drop down resampling method menu on the right side of the dialog window. Change the video preset on the left so that it matches SD resolution. In our case it is SD PAL 720x576 50 frames interlaced 16x9. Confirm by clicking OK. Now proceed similarly as when exporting a project timeline in SD resolution. That is, select export from the file menu and then print to file. Or simply use the F11 keyboard shortcut. Since we're exporting SD material and wish to archive it on a DVD, select MPEG elementary stream from the available export formats. That means we'll be exporting the picture and the sound separately. The reason for this is using the exported files in an authoring program. Continue by pressing the export button. Now let's enter the path and the name to save the file with both picture and sound. In the basic settings tab, Change the quality speed from normal to superfine and the bitrate from CBR to VBR. Let's set the average value to 6 megabits per second and the maximum to 8 megabits per second. Under audio settings, we recommend using the Dolby Digital AC3 sound format. Finally, select closed GOP in the extended settings tab and launch by pressing OK. We've gone over several ways of how to obtain material suitable for DVD creation from HD material. Choosing the appropriate procedure depends on the recording format and the camera used, but ultimately the choice is up to each one of us.